guys, so in today's DIY I'm going to show you how to make this nerd necklace out of an old keyboard. You basically use your keys to make it. So before I give too much away on how to make this, let's go ahead and go straight to the DIY. For this DIY you're going to need jump rings, silver chain, a spring ring with a holder, also going to need keyboard keys, I'm doing mine in the letters to spell out nerd, two needle nose pliers, as well as, of course, a Dremel with a pointy bit attached to it to make your holes. So what we're going to do is we are going to put holes into our little keyboard key letters just so that we can attach jump rings and turn it into a necklace. So you can see here the keys I'm using and I'm going to take that Dremel and I'm going to very slowly and very carefully drill a hole into the side of your keys. You want to make sure that you're drilling them to the left and the right side of your little key number there, number or letter, and you want to make sure that your thumb is out of the way when you are drilling these holes because you definitely do not want to hurt yourself doing this. You can also hold them, instead of holding them by hand, you can also hold them with a pair of needle nose pliers just to make sure that you don't hurt yourself. And of course, if you are under 18, make sure to have an adult help you do this because we definitely do not want you hurting yourself. Also, if you don't have a Dremel, you can use a nail and a hammer. It does take longer, so it's a little bit more time consuming, but you still get the same effects out of it as if you were to use a Dremel. So you can see here the holes that I've made, and I've made it on each side of my letter. And I'm just going to basically repeat the process for the other three letters, doing it to the right and the left of the letter, just so that when I add my jump rings, it will be nice and secure and I will have plenty of room for them. So you can see here, I hold them by hand mostly, and you can rotate where your hands are. You can put them on the outside. You can hold it on the inside. It all kind of depends. And also, make sure that you clean your keys. You definitely do not want to have dirty keys when you do it. So you can see here where I'm using my needle nose pliers to hold it. So I'm definitely showing you different ways of how you can hold it to make sure that you keep your hands out of the way and you don't hurt yourself while you're doing this. So now that I have all of my holes drilled, I'm going to take large jump rings and I'm just going to attach my keys together. So you can see it is a larger jump ring and I'm just going to use my needle nose pliers to open it up at the junction point. And I'm going to add one letter to it and while it's open, I'm going to add the other one. Now this one, you wanna put it upside down so that it still reads when you look at it. You can always take a look at it before you close it just to make sure that you're doing it the right way. It did take me a minute to make sure that I was doing mine the right way the first time I did it. So once you do that, make sure you overlap them a little bit and then I like to make sure they're nice and closed and I round them off so that they still hold that round shape to them. So you can see here how they're attached and you can still tell what it says. So we're basically just going to repeat the process with all of these and we're just going to keep adding jump rings and keys until we pretty much get the whole word spelled out and all nice and secure. So once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our chain. But here you can see how it's spelled out and how it's all attached with those jump rings. So I am going to speed up the process of measuring the chain. I just kind of eyeballed mine. You can always go back and make it smaller or bigger if you need to, but I basically measured out how much I wanted. I opened up my link and I detached it. I did have a little bit of issues detaching it, but it wasn't too bad. And while that link was open, I went ahead and I added my spring ring and I measured my second piece of chain out to be about the same size. And then while that one was open, I just pretty much added the other side of that holder for that chain. And then 
once I made sure those were attached and closed, I took more jump rings and I'm still using the large ones for this just so that I have enough room for my keys because of where I drilled my holes. And I just opened that up and I put it in one side of my necklace, added one piece of chain. It doesn't matter which one because they're both going to be doing the same thing. And then once again, I closed it by overlapping it a little bit. And then I made sure to round it off so that it was nice and secure and it wouldn't fall apart on me as I wore it out because you definitely don't want it to fall off. That is no fun. So <laughs> I'm basically just repeating this process for the other side of my necklace where I open the, ch the jump ring, I add the chain, and then I close it and I make sure that it is nice and secure in the process. So I do spend a little bit of extra time on my jump rings. I just like to make sure that they're nice and secure and they're not going to go anywhere the first time I wear it. So here is your up close look of how this nerd key, key necklace turned out. I just used an old keyboard to make mine, but you can use an older keyboard or you can go out and purchase a cheapo keyboard. It's all about whatever you want to do to make yours. So I hope you guys enjoyed that DIY on this awesome nerd key necklace and make sure to make your own. You can use any keyboard, any color, and as long as you don't need to get two keyboards to multiply colors, you can make whatever words you want. It's a fun project that everybody can do. So I want to see your pictures. If you make them, obviously make sure to <laughs> Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like me on Facebook. And if you take a picture, you can tag me in it on Instagram or send it to me on Facebook. I always love to see what other people, how they recreate what I make and how it works for them. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see all of my fun, nerdy projects. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.